Hillman reporting for Katie Chats here at the opening night of ICFF in downtown Toronto with the co-founder Maurizio Magnifico. Tell me a little bit about, about what inspired you to found this amazing festival. Well, uh, we we going we going uh, ten years back with the uh, cultural association called Altra Italia. We basically have uh, started. Um, a, um, a monthly screening with Italian movies with uh, English subtitle. We started in the uh, uh, at the Italian um, um, Cultural Institute on uh, in downtown Toronto, and uh, after that we uh, we went pretty much in every single uh, uh, tier in Toronto. We went to uh, the um, the uh, Ryerson. Then we went to the Rom, uh, and then to uh, the f uh, what's his name? The um, oh my God, I'm missing one. But uh, uh, no, 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 no. Is the uh, uh, the Cinema Tech, uh, the National Film Board? Sorry, that was our second uh, and very cute uh, uh, venue where we had uh, we we started from 50 people to 75. Then we went to 200, and then to 350 at the Rom. And then finally, when uh, you know the TIFF uh, opened up, uh, you know there was our only solution to get in this beautiful building, and uh, uh, the TIFF were very, uh, very receptive and uh, help us out, uh, you know, growing at the number that we currently have. So every month we have uh, a sold-out crowd. The film festival today on the opening night uh, it was a sold-out night. So hopefully all the other nights. Uh, they're going to be uh, the same level. Second edition, uh, many more movies. Last year we had about 20. This year we have about s probably 38. And then uh, plus, if you count the, uh, the shorts and the documentary, we are about 62 with three different venues. The, uh, the Diff Bell Light Box, the, AM, uh, the AMC in Vaughan, and the Royal uh, Cinema on College. How did you go about programming all of these films? Well, the artistic director and me, uh, we uh, we have been obviously uh, aiming at the uh, uh, contemporary, and last year was more uh, movie coming from Italy and local component. This year we have decided to increase the participation to be more international. In fact, we have, uh, as long as there's a, there is an Italian component, we have films from uh, France directed by an Italian director. We have film from Argentina. We have film from uh, uh, Japan. We have film from um, uh, Switzerland. So there is a really international flavor at, at this year compared to last year. And obviously there is also a regional component, uh, which is they're all filmed uh, in, um, in Woodbridge so that we try to get all the community together. In fact, we have nine different regions where they have, uh, uh, you know, a movie that was filmed in that specific region. So we try, you know, to get the, 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 the Italian community all together involved and uh, help us out making this possible. And what makes the Ritz-Carlton such a great venue for your opening night? The Ritz-Carlton is probably, uh, you know, uh, the best news that we had, uh, you know, with um, uh, Daniel Newberry, the marketing manager, uh, uh, he, he, he basically saw the potential that the Italian Contemporary Film Festival had, and, uh, you know, hopefully we will uh, not disappointing. This is a beautiful venue, a beautiful place, a very very short walk from uh, you know the TIF uh, and you know I have uh, Adriana you know the event manager is helping us a great deal and hopefully everybody every guest will be very happy to after the movie which will be a very funny which is a very funny movie to come here and enjoy the rest of the evening thank you so much congratulations best of luck in years to come thank you very much Katie. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here at the opening night of ICFF in downtown Toronto.